This is my mask that I have to throw on real quick if the nurse comes in because I'm not allowed everybody here. And, and this bracelet shows that I agreed when I came in <laughs> to wear my mask the whole time. Okay, guys, if you can tell, there's Nathan's little Too Fast, Too Furious car down there. He has his four by four at the house, but there's his little Too Fast, Too Furious car, the little red one. He's got Lauren, baby girl with him, a four-year-old, four-year-old baby granddaughter, his niece. We used our shades in the room, raising and lowering them so he could figure out what room we're in. Uh, I'm not going to show Angela. She's not ready to be on camera. She is awake right now and doing better each day, guys. Nathan's going to go across the street and get over here somewhere in this area on this little patch of grass right in here so that Angela can see her baby boy, which is, Nathan will tell anybody his mom is his best friend. And a uh, little girl, and they're gonna, she's gonna wave, they're gonna wave at me, Ma, we'll be back in a minute. I'm waving, baby, I can see you, you probably <laughs> can't see me. Yeah, just a waving. Hey, baby. Come and walk up to the edge of the grass so we can get a better picture. Walk further up to the edge of the grass so we can get a better picture. Lauren wanted to make sure me and Ma could see her. So that's Uncle Nathan, our baby, our baby boy. He's 21. I'm waving, baby. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> I miss you. That's Uncle Nathan and Lauren. I'm going to see you soon, okay, baby? I'm not going to be here much longer. Me and mom's working hard to get out. Nathan Neal down beside her now. The stuff you take for granted, guys. We're up on the eighth floor. All they can see is a reflection of the sun. I love y'all. But they figured out where it was by the blinds. Well, let me say hey, Lauren. Hey, I love you. Thank you for coming and seeing me. I know. We'll see you. I'll see you she in person you. real soon, okay? She wants her memo home. I love you. Bye. They're just waving memo. There they go. Lauren wanted to know why memo couldn't just come home with her now. But she kept asking her. It's heart wrenching, folks. We don't like it as adults, don't understand. So, four year olds really don't understand. Going down. Well, guys, lunchtime. Had me get a little bit of lunch. Angel's resting comfortably. All right, guys, so enjoying some lunch here. Um, Angela's resting comfortably upstairs, like I said. Uh, she's actually sitting up in a chair. First time she's done that in a while. She and I walked around a little bit uh, around the room, and um, which is a big step for using a walker. Uh, that's one thing that they want her to do to get uh, everything moving on her insides a little bit better. And of course, just to get out of the bed and walk around is another step toward walking out the front door. But, um, you know, one thing I wanted to show you here is that. Uh, you know, I spent a lot of time, those of you that know me and have known me most of my life, I spent a lot of time in a hospital with my mom growing up, myself and my brother and my dad did. And, uh, man, hospital food's come a long way, especially in these newer hospitals that have uh, the newer cafeterias slash bistros. They actually had a seafood bar here. Um, had a lot of fried food on there, fresh fried, fried food, so I chose the, more of the home-cooked uh, home cooked stuff. But uh, y'all check this out pretty well the wind's blowing but i want to take advantage of coming outside while i could it's a beautiful day out here it's about 53 degrees um beautiful sunshine so it makes for warm we've got some homemade lasagna there which they said they did prepare and it looks like they prepared uh, rather than just buying it you got corn green beans i've got some lobster bisque and some good fresh apple cobbler along with my unsweet tea there so so guys i'm gonna say my prayers here over, over lunch and dive in and we'll see y'all here in a little bit Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little bit of update here. After the lunch update, I'm sorry. You can get away with calling that dinner if you want, but do not get dinner and supper mixed up. In the South, we have lunch and supper. We don't have dinner in the South. Dinner's not replaced with supper. Awesome. Give me an update there for those of you that have seen my, uh, my fine physique and my uh, six pack abs that I have going on. You know that, uh, that I need all that food now. All that food that I showed you it was um, a video clip of the, all the food that was left. It, it got lost. I 
But um, what I did eat was very, very good. Um, most definitely, food has come a long way in the hospital. So um, this is my mask that I have to throw on real quick if the nurse comes in because I'm not allowed everybody here. And, and this bracelet shows that I agreed when I came in <laughs> to wear my mask the whole time. The visitation here at the hospital, um, I am considered a caretaker. Uh, the hospital is considered still on more or less lockdown. Uh, it's not open visitation um, like it was in 2019 or anything to that effect, but um, I'm considered a caretaker uh, is what I'm called, and um, Angel gets one caretaker per day. Uh, if I come in and I sign in as a caretaker, I'm the only caretaker she can have all day. So if I come in and I'm here for 30 minutes and I leave, that's it. She doesn't get another one. Nobody else can come in here for the rest of the day. So 7A to 7P are the time that the caretakers are allowed to be here, and it's only one per day. You cannot swap out to another caretaker. So that's the way the visitation goes. Angela is doing uh, much better. She's continuing to get stronger. The, um, the doctors are, uh, are continuing to, to give better, uh, better smiles and better, um, better prognosis. Uh, Angela has, um, uh, the NG tube is gone, which is the tube that goes into her nose, down into her, um, through her esophagus, down to her stomach. That tube is gone. Um, functions of her GI tract and the stomachs and intestines and bowels are continuing to, they're starting to function better. The, um, she is uh, walking on a walker. Since I got up here yesterday, we have walked around the room some. Uh, she has gotten up and sat in this exact chair that I'm sitting in. She sat here for a couple hours today. Uh, changed her view. The view from the uh, the penthouse, that is. She is improving. Steady improvement. Um, the doctor's idea, uh, having a visitor, having a caretaker, um, would help kickstart her. She got to the point where it was a good thing. I know it helped kickstart it me. But nurses said that they want to uh, get her out and let her walk down the hall a little bit today. She has to rest, of course, um, from just walking around the room. None of that's happened in almost 30 days. So um, all of that will help get her insides working more, working like they're supposed to so that her body responds better. I'm not sure when we're going home, but Angela feels in her gut and I feel in my gut that uh, we're gonna look toward the beginning the middle of next week. And uh, you know, what we're waiting on is more activity to get all of her insides working, solids and liquid foods. And um, do feel that we're gonna go home on uh, IV antibiotics but if we can get everything else taken orally, then those three things will be the steps that we need to uh, get home and to uh, long road from there once we get home, but uh, nothing will help better than getting home. That's gonna be our current update for today. Uh, please continue to pray. Our prayer warriors, the great God Almighty, the great physician, is what have got us this far. Angel loves y'all. We've talked a lot about it here over the last day. And uh, we just thank you so much for all the prayers, all the love that's come our direction from all over this world. If you want to see more about this, if you want to see anything else as we get back to try to get back to more regular, uh, regular videos uh, down the road here, please like, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell, guys. Leave us a comment below. Leave us some encouragement. I'm sitting here beside Angela. I'll read her the comments, every one of them that you leave. We love you guys.